traders, Caroline Alexander here, graduate student of the Grok Trade Mentoring Program. It is Wednesday, October 5th, 2011, and we are looking at the Cube's daily chart. But before we get into our technical analysis, I do really apologize for not having a video up there for you yesterday. I've been having some technical issues, but um, we'll try to post it here again for you today so you can see exactly what was happening and what I was talking about while we go through um, our analysis here again today. So yeah, so that's what happened. I do apologize again. I'll just do my best to have it posted for you here tonight so that you can review it and look at the thing that I mentioned to you yesterday here to today's analysis. All right, yeah, so let's get started. Let's take a look at our chart here. What a beautiful, beautiful bounce off of that lower area support right here, the 50, 55 mark in what we're doing here today, we are confirming that up candlestick down here, we are closing the day above the high of yesterday, which was at the 52.29 mark. So that is significant. And we are stopping right at the eight moving average, which you see here in green. So the other thing that I do really see here on this chart is our first higher low and our first higher high. So we could see a little bit of a bounce right here at this moment happening, but we'll still have to overcome and break through the next area of uh, resistance on our way up here, the 53.73 mark, and then the next one would be right here at the 50 day moving average, which is here in red. And then the next one on our way up would be here, the 54.37 mark, and the next big one would be up here where you see this pink trend line. So it is at the 54.75 mark about. So we still have some more room to go up. I would like it to go up all the way up to that pink area of resistance. And then we could either way, pull back down again, continuing lower, or we could try to push it all the way up to that next area of resistance right here at the 55.25. And then the next major one would be up here, the 55.83. And the next big one would be at the 200 day moving average, which you see here in blue, and it's at the 56.23. So that's all areas of resistance for you to watch if we ever go higher. But if we do go lower instead, we would have to really pay close attention to the this area of support down below at the 52.76 mark, as well as that pink trend line, which is right here at about 51.78. The next big one would be right here, the 51.50 mark, and the next one would be down below here, the 50.50, 50, 50, 50, about 50.57 mark. So that is a significant area of support. And check this out, look at the MACD turning north. That is a good sign, but even though we're turning north on the MACD, we're still way below the zero line. We're continuing higher, we're getting closer and closer to the zero line, but we still have some more room to hit the zero line and then continue higher, breaking through the zero line to the bullish side of trade. So that's what I would like to see happening if we ever go higher. And we do have the up run, the second day up here on pretty decent volume. I like that. So keep an eye on the volume bars right here as well as on the MACD to look for confirmation. All right, so hope it helps you and it gives you an idea of what we could see happening and trade smart.